In the land of the rising sun, tattoos have been used principally by men in a secular context. The Japanese term for tattoo literally means the art of the skin stamp. Tattoos signal membership in a criminal gang or a woman of doubtful morals. A vestige of these traditional prejudices is that people are forbidden to show their tattoos in public. With her boots and miniskirt, angel-faced Yumiko looks like one of the sweet Japanese girls one meets every day in the streets of Tokyo. Look again. She is on her way to visit Master Horiyasu, arguably the greatest tattoo artist in Japan and possibly the world. Before switching to tattoos, Master Horiyasu was a sword sharpener. Yumiko has come today with a gift for the master. She had a print specially made of an enlarged photograph to thank him for work done on her back. I chose this design because it represents female loyalty. I came across it in a book. Loyalty is keeping your thoughts solely for the man you love. The master likes the way the colors turned out in the photograph. I had been thinking for some time of getting tattooed. At a certain time, I felt very strongly about my husband, and I went ahead and did it. He even said he finds it beautiful. In her everyday life, Yumiko hides the work of art tattooed onto her skin. She hides it from others, the better to offer it in intimacy to the man she loves. This particular tattoo took over 40 hours of work, divided into two-hour session, two times a month. In all, four months were required to complete the canvas. What was the price of this homage to conjugal fidelity? 7,000 US dollars. Master Horiyasu signed Yumiko's skin like a painter signs a canvas. He's checking to see how the skin is reacting to the ink and is taking one last look at his creation. Yumiko is only 29. She has sworn her love to a man for life. As one poet puts it, there is no love, there are merely acts to prove it. Women with full body tattoos are extremely rare in Japan. In 17 years, Master Horiyasu has tattooed only a handful. Yumi, who inscribed herself with a principle she holds dear, is another member of this select club. She is the married mother of two daughters and drives a 10-ton truck. Her wish to cover her skin with colorful pictures dates back to childhood. All her life, she's dreamt of imprinting herself with the loyalty and respect she feels for her country and above all, for her emperor. A tattoo is a choice you make. It's the engraving in the flesh of a cherished belief. It's like a principle you want to uphold your whole life long. The belief in the tattoo's beauty are related. The belief adds spiritual beauty to a life, just like the tattoo adds physical beauty. I waited a long time before getting tattooed because of my children. I thought about it long and hard. 
I got married at 18 and had my first daughter at 19. I thought it would be sad not to be able to swim with her at the pool or the beach. So I waited until she finished primary school. In Japan, people with tattoos can't go to public bathing spots. It would have been odd to stay covered at the pool. Had I been on my own, it would not have mattered. But my daughter would have been embarrassed to be with a tattooed mother. Unlike most tattoo artists, Master Horiyasu does not copy from a model, but draws directly on the skin. He talks with the client and then plunges in. Tattoos express one's culture and traditions. In Japan, we tattoo large canvases inspired by Japanese painting or by ukiyo-e's engravings. In contrast, in the West, tattoos are smaller and artists don't use the stumping or shading off technique to bring out the pattern. A tattooed body is a living body. And Japanese women have very white skin. The whiter a woman's skin, the better the tattoo stands out. Today, Yumi has come to ask the master to add to the work that covers most of her body. Master Horiyasu suggests tattooing on her thigh a chrysanthemum, symbol of the Japanese emperor. Yumi thinks a woman's beauty comes from her most deeply cherished belief. It's a commitment which gives her life all its meaning and beauty. In the West, women tattoo themselves to show their individuality, freedom, and independence. In Japan, they do it to show loyalty and commitment to a person or an idea. Tattooing has become fashionable. It's socially acceptable now. So I believe that the number of tattooed women will grow. Yes. 